This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. The interview, and we talked about Teofimo Lopez versus Lomachenko, and the shit just blew up. You, know? you, got, yeah. a, you got one side saying they agree with you. You got another side saying you, you hating on T.O. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that, man? Uh... I'm not hating on Tia Fimo. I know Tia Fimo, and actually, we, we cool, but I just call it how I see it. I'm not a biased dude. You feel me? If, if I feel like it's whatever I feel and it's on my mind, I'm going to say it. You feel me? I'm not a hater, but I'm definitely not a biased dude. Now, why do you think that Lomachenko is just going to wash Tia? Because Lomachenko is... Like I said before, he's a different breed. He's a different breed, and and Loma got. He, 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 to be honest, Loma hit hard. He just don't have to show it because his footwork is crazy. He got some of the best footwork I ever seen in my life. And it's like, once he start doing different things to these dudes that they never seen before, it's like. Everything they worked on and everything they did in camp just go out the window. Okay. So like, now, you said Gerard Ennis is one of your stable mates, right? Yes, sir. So there's been a lot of talk about Boots being the guy that's going to either beat Terrence Crawford or Earl Smith. How do you see those fights going? Guess what? Terrence what? Crawford, my boy, too. Yeah. I'm not being biased either. But in the welterweight division, Terrence Crawford, he's the best welterweight. I'm going to say that right now. But Terrence Crawford would be the easiest fight for Boots. Whoa. <laughs> you want me to tell you why? Go it's ahead, not skill-wise, but Terrence Crawford is too chinny. He's too chinny. So once, once Boots hit him and he wobble, it's over, bro. See these dudes, he can wobble in front of these dudes and still had time to get himself together. But one I see this dude when he wobbles somebody, he turned into a different animal. Different animal. And is it, he not gonna be able to wobble in front of boots at all. He gonna have to be a, if he do get hurt, he's not gonna be able to show it. Cause once you show that you hurt in front of that man, just close the show. It's over. Just take your gloves off, your shoes, your outfit, go at the dressing room and go home. <laughs> Promise. Spence, Spence, uh, I, I I don't know about after the accident how Spence will be, but I'm speaking on before the accident. So the real Spence, I don't want anybody saying after the accident. Spence, Spence is, is is too stationary for Boots, so that's like target practice. And Boots definitely big, just like Spence. Boots hit hard, just like Spence. He fast, he slick, he smart, he know the game, and and that dude is dedicated. He's dedicated. You see how we in the bubble, and I'm like, damn, Boots won't have no problem with that because he, he just sit in his room all day and just relax. He train, go home, train, go home, train, go home, train, go home. That's all he do. So, you know. So you just see him wiping out the whole entire division? I mean, of course, he going to have his battles, but I don't think nobody in the division could beat him. That's how I praise, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I The boxing world didn't even see the half of him yet. I grew up with this dude from babies. From babies. He was he used to train me before my dad trained me. So I seen everything that he can do, and he's definitely adding more to his bag. Why don't you think he gets the same kind of love as um, like Virgil Ortiz, Shakur Stevenson, dudes like that? Uh, because he, he too, people might say I'm tripping, but he's too humble. He don't say nothing. He's minding his business. He don't go to no fights or none of that. He stay in his lane and he do what he got to do. So like, you know, Shakur Stevenson, he get on Twitter and Instagram and he going to call them dudes out. He going to show his face at the fights. He going to let y'all know that, yeah, I'm here and I'm here to stay and I'm the best. I want to fight this person. I want to fight that person. Boots just like bring them on. You feel me? Yeah. Boots don't really, boots don't really 
make an image for itself while these other dudes do. So, like, everybody don't really pay him no mind because he don't really talk. But all them other dudes that's talking, of course they're going to get that that uh, attention and the love and stuff like that. Now, it's your first fight on ESPN. Um, one of the announcers, future Hall of Famer Timothy Bradley, said he couldn't wait to see you up close and personal. Yeah. Do you feel like there's any added pressure, you being a decorated amateur, for you to show out tomorrow? No, I per- if it is added pressure, I, that's when I perform the best, when the pressure on. Feel me? And tomorrow, I'm going to make sure that Tim Bradley word is good. Uh, you got anything to say to your fans before your fight tomorrow? Uh, keep your eyes open for a great, spectacular victory. We're going to do what we got to do. We're going get to out, get out there, and we're going to be victorious. I like that, man. Thanks, Shane. I appreciate it. All right, bro. Thank you.